decided to revisit um, uh, a product I'd already um, posted a video for roughly about uh, three to four years ago. Uh, I did a product demo of the uh, EMG uh, David Gilmore pre-wired set or the DG20 and uh, <laughs> I didn't expect it to get quite as uh, big a response as it, as it did. Uh, subsequently I got a lot of uh, questions and uh, so I wanted to shoot a video to do an update on it was I wanted to answer a couple of the, uh, some of the questions that I get asked the most uh, and put them in a video. One of the questions I was asked was uh, I was told by somebody that I should mention that bringing the pickups close to the strings uh, will cause uh, string pull uh, with traditional passive pickups that is true with EMGs it's not because it's an active pickup um, it doesn't pull on the string um, in the same way that a passive pickup does. Uh, you can slap an EMG up as close to the string as you can get it with very, very minimal, very minimal to no uh, string pull. That's always been the beauty of uh, EMG active pickups, the ability to get the pickup as close to the string as possible so that you're actually, actually pull most gain out of the pickup as humanly possible by putting it as close to the sound source as you can get it. Uh, another question was, um, uh, or another statement or question on here, it says, um, there was a lot of debate um, on my previous post between um, people who were watching the video as to whether or not David Gilmore uh, used the uh, the uh, EMG set. Now, whether or not he used them on an album or not, I don't know. I have seen him, however, use them on uh, some live footage. I've actually seen strats with them in there. But uh, as far as that whole debate goes, I, I, I think it's a useless debate uh, because um, I, I say it's a null and void type conversation because you don't, I don't. I'm not going to say what other people do. I don't buy any one item based on the name over it. I, in fact, I can answer two questions in this one statement because I was also asked why I didn't play any David Gilmore when I was demoing the uh, demoing the Strat. I don't buy any one piece of gear based on the fact that somebody else plays it. Uh, I buy it because it it looks good, or during a demo it sounds good, or on paper. It, on paper, I identify with something on there that I'm, you know, that it says it does, or value that it says it has. That I, that I make a connection with, and that's why I buy it. So, um, I didn't buy the David Gilmore set to sound like David Gilmore. I didn't buy the David Gilmore set because I thought David Gilmore used it. I bought the David Gilmore set because I was looking for quiet single coil pickups uh, with a lot of output, and that's what I got. I got Got a little bit more, it's a little bit more control. So, in answer to that number, uh, in answer to that question, that's why I didn't play any David Gilmore because even though I, I do like Pink Floyd, but I'm not a huge. Uh, I, I'm not a uh, huge like Gil, Gilmore fan. Like I didn't go out and buy it because I'm this big uh, David Gilmore fan. I want to emulate David Gilmore's sound. I bought it because I'm a fan of EMGs and I was looking for a high-powered uh, Strat setup, and that's why I got it. Uh, and the other thing is, is uh, I think it. Uh, I'm not sure where uh, if he played it on any albums or not, but I know that he has used the EMG set live. And live, he sounded like David Gilmore. So that comment of don't buy these expected to sound like David Gilmore. David Gilmore sounded like David Gilmore when he played it. But don't buy any piece of gear to sound like anybody else because not no one piece of thing that you buy is going to make you sound like the artist that you're trying to emulate. You have to be able to look behind the curtain. It's kind of like watching The Wizard of Oz where they pulled it back and saw the little guy you know, sitting there operating the machine. 
there's a billion pieces of gear and a thousand things and uh, 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 intricate details that none of you will ever know that go on in that rig uh, to get him the sound that he's got. So you're not going to go to your local guitar center, buy an amp, and then go get the David Gilmore pickup set or the David Gilmore Strat or anything else and then turn around and sound exactly like David Gilmore. I mean, that just it's just usually not the way it works. You might sound Gilmore-ish, but I mean, it's, that's just not the way those type of things work. Uh, it says, hi, this was a great demo and I'm very interested in getting this pickup set. My question is, was it hard to transfer the set to a different pick guard? I want to set up, I want the setup, but to use on a black pick guard. It's as easy as pie to uh, move it to a pick guard, move the set to another pick guard. I mean, it's, everything's attached. Um, I actually can show you. Of course, you know, goes without saying, take the pick guard off. Um, take these screws out, take your knobs off, and there's a, you know, little washer underneath. I could, as with any, um, volume pot. You take those off, take these two screws out, and you just drop all the electronics off the pick guard. Leave them completely intact. Don't unwire it. Just drop them off the pick guard. Take your new pick guard and just put load everything into the appropriate holes, put the nut washer nuts back on, and these screws back in, and then just put, plug the pick guard back out. Put your pick guard down onto your uh, the body of your guitar. It's written. It, it it's really that simple. One question I got about this was someone asked me if I had turned my guitar into a hollow body, and what was the deal with the holes? The deal with the holes were, or is not was, but is is I. Uh, Years ago, they did not offer a left-handed Ibanez gem, and I was a huge Steve Vai fan. In fact, when I first put this pick, set, pick guard set in, I originally put it in and took this out and put a uh, EMG 81, which I still have over there somewhere, an EMG 81 in, uh, in the bridge, and I cut these holes out because I was going to make this basically what I, I used to call this was a poor man's gym is what I called it and I, I, of course visually only because I didn't have any of the specs on my guitar that a, a gym had but um and that's what that and that's all that was that was just something visual that I I thought looked cool um and so I did it uh here's another question I got asked was how did I find room to fit uh, two batteries in for the 18 volt mod and that is a simple question I routed out a spot on the back of the guitar I measured uh, I measured two 9 volt batteries laying side by side and then I marked it on my guitar and routed it out made a uh, I made a little cover from a old uh, plastic top that I actually had laying around and that's all I did um, before I thought about doing that, you, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little bitty hole right there. At first I drilled a hole right through the sidewall, and this works out pretty good too. Uh, it's really good for quick battery changes. I had routed out a hole right here, and I mounted, uh, I mounted two batteries right here on the bottom side of the guitar. Uh, but I just decided at a later date I wanted to move them. It wasn't in the way, it didn't bother anything, but I just decided at a later date I wanted to actually put them on the inside of the, uh, the, inside of the guitar. So. I think that answers um, both those questions. The other question was, with the mid-boost and bass treble boost controls taking the place of the normal tone controls, is it possible to roll back the tone like a normal setup? No. Because you have no tone knob to roll back. I'm not going to say that you can't get it. Uh, you could possibly play around with the bass treble boost and the uh, mid boost and still approximate that sound, but you're not going to be able to do it in the normal fashion uh, that you're accustomed to of just rolling back your, your tone knob because when you roll that tone knob, you're actually activating a boost either of treble and bass or of, of mids. So. Um, that was the answer to that one. <laughs>